guys I'm Shama Chamandan from Nipponic Studios and in this video tutorial I'm gonna teach you how to create uh, actually how to animate shapes in WPF platform so for this task I'm using simple shapes like rectangles ellipses and those kind of things so basically to get started uh, first of all you need to create a new project I have created a project called WPF tutorial and uh, inside the window tag you have the grid tag basically code so that's the default settings for your for your basic XAML file so now I'm going to create a rectangle inside this rectangle now as you can see you can't actually you can't see anything right now so because I never said something like this fill is equal to let's set to black now you can see the I have never specified the width and height or some kind of a tagging it uh, anchoring it to the top left or some kind of a horizontal alignment vertical alignment so uh, for this task I just need the opacity to be changed by code so uh, in this video tutorial I'm not gonna cover storyboards in SAML so I just go into the C sharp version of animations. So I just use double animation, call animations, and those type of those type of things that you need in your life. So to do this task, first of all, I need a name for this. Uh, ne let's name this rectangle one, and that's it. So to get things started, let's go to the window tag right here and add the loaded equal to a new event handler that's window loaded by default and inside this I'm going to create a new double animation and you can not just uh, initialize a new double animation in your first application because you have to use the windows dot system dot windows dot media animation so that's the spirit so for double animation double animation equal new double animation so there are two methods that you can do this do the initialization of double animation so for that task I'm just going to use the constructor right here for the ease of access so first of all the two from value and the two values should be uh, assigned so from 0 to 1 and the duration duration is a new duration of time span dot from mills uh, let's set it that to from seconds one and that's it I have initialized the basic task of the double animation and let's uh, set, begin this animation in the rectangle rectangle one dot begin animation double animation sorry double animation and oh, sorry sorry about that first of all you need to set the dependency property and that's the opacity property and the double animation so sorry about that the spelling mistake right here uh, R is missing so let's run this application and see how the animation looks like as you can see the animation is really smooth because WPF platform is optimized for animations not like the Windows Phone plat platform <laughs> as you can see we all have to use the timers to create animations in the Windows Forms applications but WPF applications are built in for animations so that's the basic functionality of the WPF application platform so now I'm just going to show you how to actually as assign sorry I'm typing so I'm just now I'm going to explain you how to cr how to assign or instantiate your double animation uh, using not the constructor dot from is equal to zero and double animation dot two is equal to one double animation dot duration is equal to time span dot from from seconds is one so if I build this and run this so 
it's basically the same as the previous one. So that's opacity animation. So you can tweak your dependency property back here and change it to something else. Like uh, no, you can't change in this part, this thing right here. So I'm going to do something else. So I'm going to specify the horizontal alignment which is equal to left and the vertical alignment is equal to the center so now let's see the width property back here so I set it to 100 and as you can see there's nothing yet because I have never specified the height so 200 okay that's good so now let's get to the width animation so for this task width and height both are doubled because you can specify decimal points back there on width and height because this is not windows forms you can't even use decimal points in windows forms because new rendering engine in wpf system is really fast and really accurate so it can even be used for scientific experiments and those kind of things so for this task I'm going to edit the width property so width property and from 0 to uh, let's set it to no let's set it to 500 and let's play this back as you can see the animation is really smooth but you may think that I forgot something. Actually, I forgot to tell it, but that's not an easy task because uh, creating easing functionality is some kind of an advanced task for some people. But uh, I have created some of them myself, so as you can see, uh, they'll be available in my website back there. So double animation dot easing function equal to new party is or some kind of ease that right here that inherits the i easing function or i i easing function interface so there are many kind of eases back there so as you can see if you type ease which is, which is already under the media data animation as i remember so just so uh, for for this purpose i'm going to use quartic ease and that's really awesome so let's play this back as you can see the animation is really smooth as Windows 10 animation as you can see I open start that kind of animation is in this position so next I'm going to change the color so I'm going to come on this thing and new color animation okay oh, before doing color animations I have to show you something uh, the property that I use most so for this task you have the fill and th that is the shape dot fill so this is properties panel back here if I I have selected the rectangle right here and go to properties and go to brush and the background that's a media that brush you can change it just by assigning it a color okay that's the basic functionality of WPF so uh, you can change anything you can change anything with animations so the, if you type animation back here you have the several kind of animations uh, even boolean animation what the fuck is that so byte animation car animations color animations decimal animations double animations into 32 and those kind of animations that you can use in most of your tasks even vectors are animated you see this one if you're using 3d objects on your application you need to use vectors most so so i have taught you how to create a basic animation using wpf platform wpf platform so WP platform is really great if you want to create some kind of a great uh, animation <laughs> actually some kind of great animation so anyway that's for me to do in this video guys so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and if you want your friends to know these awesome tricks and those kind of things about WPF platform and uh, subscribe to my youtube channel as I said before and share them this video because sharing is caring
I forgot to tell you something. Uh, so if you want to know more about ease functioning and some kind of eases like quad ease and quadric ease, quintic ease and those kind of things, uh, you can check out my video back here on the top. So thanks for watching guys, don't forget to subscribe and share this video.